its questionable practices, including the scandal over fixing the interbank lending rate, the LIBOR rate, and the mis-selling of payment protection insurance have all led to pretty uncomfortable losses for Barclays Bank this last quarter. It's just announced pre-tax statutory losses of £47 million for the three months to September. So that might not sound a lot for them, but when you compare it to the same period last year, when Barclays made a £2.4 billion profit, then it does, right? Big problems have beset the bank, so where do we start? A £290 million fine over rigging the LIBOR. Remember the week before last, the bank said it needs to set aside £700 million more to make sure it can cover the wealth of PPI claims that have been flooding into them. And now the bank is also set to face a £38 million damages case over the mis-selling of derivatives, a case that's been brought by Guardian Care Homes, a firm which owns and runs 30 private residential homes for the elderly. Chief Executive of Barclays, Anthony Jenkins, who took over after Bob Diamond stepped down in the summer, all because of that LIBOR rate scandal, said the results show, quote, good momentum in our businesses, despite the difficulties we faced through this period. News of the losses today, though, will mean that the bank will continue to be very much under the banking microscope. I'm Marvereen Cole. For more news, go to our website, ibtimes.co.uk.